Hi guys, I've got a request from Sahan Methmal. Apologies if I've got your name pronounced wrong. He wants me to do a little help file on making the charger that I use for charging up my supercapacitors on these sorts of planes that I make. Now this is the typical one. It's just a little battery holder. Typically it would come from something like a set of LED lights. That uses two AA batteries. It's got an on-off switch on it. There is a problem with the ones for the LEDs in that they've also got a protective resistor in there to protect the LEDs. So you need to take the resistor out. In fact, I'm just looking, I can't see that this one's got one. So I'll rephrase that. Often they have a protective resistor in them. Um, and you don't want the resistor in there if you're just charging up a supercapacitor. Two AA batteries gives you three volts or thereabouts. And your supercapacitor is 2.7 volts. So you might slightly overcharge it. If you're using rechargeable batteries in your battery pack, then they will be less than 3 volts, probably 2.8 volts, in which case, spot on. Anyway, I won't take that one apart. Looking at this one, this looks like this came from the same sort of thing. There's the on-off switch there. You'll notice there's a difference. This one's got a little plug on it, and this one's got two crocodile clips. Depends how you want to do the job. Crocodile clips are fine, but if you forget to switch it off when you've used it, there's a good chance that these will connect together and short circuit your battery and they'll overheat in the pack. But I'll just demonstrate it working using this first. So switch it on. In fact, probably better not to switch it on until you've connected it. Switch that off so that you're not running the motor, you're just charging the capacitor. Normally I leave it for about 30 seconds, but that should be long enough just to give us the idea. Switch it off again, that's the important bit, so that you don't accidentally short together your crocodile clips. And then you're charged. That was a very quick charge, so you can hear it running down already. But because I have got caught out several times and shorted my wires together, and I mean, potentially it could catch fire, it's unlikely with two AA batteries. What's more likely is you'll flatten your batteries and you can't charge your plane anymore. So I came up with this as an alternative. I bought a pack of plug and socket, I suppose you could call them, connectors. It happens to be the same size as is used on the nanocopters that I've got. So I thought it was a handy size to get hold of. And now I can plug that together, if I do it the right way up. And I can charge from here instead and there's no chance of me even if I forget to switch it off again there's no chance of me shorting the wires out. I've no idea if those are good batteries in there I just picked this out of my um, scrap box. Let's assume that's long enough. Yep. So there you go, you get an ordinary 2AA battery pack from somewhere, and as I say these mini LED lights is a good source of them. You could actually buy one from an electrical shop, but I get these from Poundland, so that's a pound for the battery pack, and I also get a handy set of LEDs to play with for other projects. And then I just open it up 
connect whatever I want to to the wires. And say in this case I've got thicker wires and they go into crocodile clips. And that's job done. I just happen to have another electric motor sitting there. So it's handy for powering other things other than my supercapacitors. So there you go, a very quick help file on how to make one of these battery char uh, super capacitor chargers. I don't really think you need to watch me soldering bits of wires onto crocodile clips or onto the terminals in there. It's just that's the idea I came up with. Use a plug and socket and then you're not accidentally going to short these together. Obviously there's various different sizes of connector, so whatever you use, make sure you've got a matching pair. Not that you'd want to, but if you wanted to try and charge a LiPo battery, then if it's that size connector, you need the matching socket to go with it. That's just an example, I'm not suggesting using that. So there we go. Hope that helps.